Hello everyone, um, sorry I'm just filming this on my iPhone very quickly and it's rubbish quality I know but I realised editing the video that you're about to see that we never really introduced the footage you're about to watch. Uh, basically me and Sophie went to London the other day to do a tour of Parliament. Unfortunately they wouldn't let us film any of it but we did film some other clips from our trip so we hope you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you do so here we are at broadcasting house home of the beep there we go and current election night david cameron uh. there that they had the election with you uh i think it was it was in one of the buildings around here i don't know there, yeah. on the floor. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful quote in a lush Oxford Street by the great <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. We have arrived at Parliament. There's Whitehall down there. So we have just done the tour of Parliament. Tour. Oh. It was so good. And we've come out of here. And there's Big Ben we, behind we, us. We got to see the dispatch box and it was so cool. <laughs> I just want to go and stand in front of it. And here we are. of the Prime Minister. Seat of all power in the United Kingdom, sort of. Sophie's future home as she likes to think of it. <laughs> oh, I dearly, dearly wish. Next door you can't really see it, can you? Number 11. Where number the 11. Lives. The Chief Whip in number 9. I didn't know that. Chief Whip in number 9 and the Press Office in number 12. Aren't you all glad that you come to London with me? Probably can't see me very well because I'm holding the camera <laughs> Fran brings a style. <laughs> of course. So, uh, Where are we, Franny? We are on Whitehall. Well, on? On, on Whitehall. Yeah. Whitehall, so, you can just see the side of a Fran's head, except she kind of can't. Hold on. Zoom. So down Downing the Street, Street and Whitehall. And back there is Whitehall. <gasps> Um, and way, way back there that you can kind of just see is the Houses of Parliament, which is where we've just been. And Whitehall is... The seat of uh, administrative government power things. Yes. Important decisions get made here. The Foreign Office is like down there and the Treasury and the Cenotaph, which is where they have celebrate, like, they commemorate the First World War. So it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Where are we off to now, Fran? Uh, National Portrait Gallery. We want to go and find pictures of Prime Ministers. Yes. And we've been told there's a mug which we need to go and look at as well. Which so I'll we're, I think we're going to go buy it. Probably well. buy. We'll, we'll vlog. We'll, we'll buy. No idea if you can hear us. We're on Whitehall. We're walking on Whitehall. We just left Downing Street behind, which is yes. exciting. Yeah, we did. And we are on the way to the National Portrait Gallery to see if we can see any Prime Ministers. Yeah. Not, um, not actual Prime Ministers, no, just portraits, portraits, obviously. Well, if there are any there, we'll let you guys know. Losing the name portrait, yeah. <laughs> um, We're smart people. Yeah, probably. It only took us two tries to use a photo booth this morning. We are on it. And we will insert a picture here of the photo booth. <laughs> if you haven't Ooh, already Cabinet seen office. It. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit distracted. We're just walking past the Cabinet office. Um, yes, Very exciting. So if you don't follow us on Twitter. Please do. Uh, we'll put the link in the, the G coalition. Here we have Gladstone and Disraeli. We're just in the National Portrait Gallery. They can glare at each other for eternity. Yeah. We found a picture of Churchill's dad. There we go. We found Lord Randolph. His Lloyd, David Lloyd George, Prime Minister during the First World War. Was he Welsh? He was Welsh. I did not know that. He already introduced the People's Budget, which was a bit, I think, shocker. And included oh yeah, the space. Parliament Act. <laughs> Social Security things. Not a Prime Minister, but one of the suffragettes who campaigned for the women's right to vote in Britain. Wow. Here we are with Tony Blair. Sophie, not a fan. I'm um, um, a huge fan of all of our Prime Ministers for impartiality purposes. Oh my god, look who we found everyone. Miliband claims to be able to complete a Rubik's Cube puzzle in 90 seconds. Miliband went to Hamstock School, which all the time. 
following the party's defeat in the 2015 general elections, Miliband is like leadership that remains an MP. I'm sad. I kind of miss her. Not gonna lie. It was great. Sophie. We have found the Prime Minister Mark. <gasps> so I want to see Sophie's so excited. We wanted to find these like it's our goal, so I'm not sure I might buy one. I know Sophie definitely is buying one. So, uh, just, well, we're just on our way to Euston now. I'm very, very sleepy. I've just got my welcome on the way for the station. Um, very, very happy for her. Yes, I'm right. Calf is killing me for some reason. My feet are dead. I'm losing my voice. But it's We've been an walked. amazing day. It's been so good. Chill. Kind of got lost going to Covent Garden after the National Portrait Gallery where we just had lunch. We ended up just doing circles around Leicester Square and it was kind of boring. But so then yeah. We, then we found where we wanted to go for lunch and had. Went you had. A yeah, girl, I had fries. Went nice. to Shake Shack in Covent Garden. It was mm. really nice. It was delish. But, yeah, there wasn't really much that exciting happening this afternoon. So yeah. After a very, very productive day in London, Franny is now actually asleep on the train on the way home. And I think I shall soon be joining her, as you can probably tell. I'm losing my voice quite badly. <laughs> I sound like a chain smoker. And I can't actually see where we're going. 